Hi everyone, this is Chris, your cardboyant, and today I have something a little bit different for you. I decided earlier today to do a reading with my new set of cards about the entire situation that we're in, just asking the questions that I have about the pandemic and things, anything related to that. And I went ahead and recorded it, as I do in audio uh, readings, so this is awful lot like an audio reading. Um, and then because so much information came through, I thought that I really should post it. So it's coming across as an audio recording, but I do have images um, of the cards that you will see in this video. So let's just get started with the reading itself. So I did this reading five cards just asking anything to to find out about this pandemic what we need to know would be good for us to know what it would help us to know any glimpses into the future that it's possible to know or you know just anything um we're all kind of flailing here in some ways and um, you know i've got this this kind of um, crazy group of cards that absolutely are not what I would expect um, to have in a reading when I'm asking about something that's really a big question and, you know, global, obviously, and universal. Um, and I've got these very kind of um, specific cards. It's interesting. Um, and interestingly enough, in a, a reading, of only six cards, half of them are major arcana cards. So as I always do, I'm going to read top to bottom, left to right. It's kind of this pyramid shape, so it'll be interesting to see what, we, what we've got here. And first of all, and very interestingly, we get this major arcana card. And, you know, these major arcana cards are about these big picture things, these uh, overarching ideas. Sometimes in personal lives, they have to do with something that may, you know, be a long period of time, your whole life, um, or the overarching um, thing that's happening relative to a certain situation. Well, here we get the lover's card. And, um, you know, often you get these cards and they are specific and general to a situation and they may vary in their meaning even while they you know retain the bulk of it and here we have the lover's card we have this very um symbolic figuring here that's you know that just makes you think of adam and eve this um mankind kind of perspective and I'm sorry, sometimes you get a little, a little bit emotional. Um, you get this angel figure on top, and I feel very much, very much like this is a message about how we are, uh, all of mankind, in our earthly state, being watched after, right? We're being looked after. There are guides on the other side that are literally holding our hands, our personal guides, but there is, there is a purpose. I mean, there is a method to this madness or uh, not even a method. There is an outcome that is positive. There, there are reasons for these things, even though they're hard to see. And, and I think the message here is that big sort of global message, but more importantly, I think, is this um, individual message as we have these indi individual figures on the card this idea of personally being um, watched after comforted when needed certainly like this sympathy this empathy not sympathy but empathy for us where they they feel they understand that this is so difficult and in times when there are in personal circumstances when um, we need that comfort when things are overwhelming, whether it has to do with simply our circumstances, you know, being uh, quarantined and the circumstances we're quarantined in, whether it's economic, whether it's um, 
uh, you know, emotional, whether it has to do with um, our very health, you know, and even food and those kinds of things, or whether it has to do with loss, whether we're personally experiencing this sort of um, loss that uh, comes with a devastating disease like this. No matter in what form these things are happening, we have, we're just encircled, each individual encircled with our guides and loved ones who have either walked with us in this lifetime or who have walked with us in other lifetimes or simply support us from the other side. They circle you. They literally hold your hands. They try so hard to let you know they are there. And you certainly, we each certainly can connect with them through meditation, often in the dream state, through simply asking, you know, let me know you're there. Please show me a sign. Um, you know, we, we often cry out sort of in our loneliest hour, but it's also important to do this um, just sort of acknowledging that they are there and please help me through. Of course, of course we cry to our guides, to our, um, you know, whatever concept we hold of God in our very, very deepest times of needs. But, you know, most of us sort of buoy, you know, we, we sort of rise and fall like a wave, you know, we have these ebbs and flows of how we're feeling. And so it, it does help to be sort of constantly mindful of the help that's available to us, to the guidance. You know, that there, there may, um, we talked about signs one time in one of our Psychic Sisters videos that, that are very physical signs, music, and that, that may come to you, something that, you know, that you turn on music and it soothes you, or it's unexpectedly there as you're, you know, turn on the, your live stream or radio, I say radio and I don't want to like dig myself, but you know, radio um, or, you know, television or you're in your car, however it is, these things may come to you as a surprise or you might be guided to them, right? You're, you're flipping channels and you happen to hit this one uh, channel that, that maybe it doesn't, this doesn't have to be a huge spiritual message. You know, you don't have to hit on some, um, you know, spiritual channel. It could just be a, a movie that you love, a TV show that makes you laugh, you know, music that touches your heart or makes you feel good. These are all signs. And if you ask for them, you know, they can, they will gladly be given to you because they, as this angel in the lover's card, they so want to protect you and reach out for you and reach out to you and let you know that they are there, helping you through this time that is important to go through, but that there will be an end to and that they acknowledge is difficult. And every time something like that happens, even the smallest thing, even if you're not sure, you know, if there's anything behind it, you know, like if you think, oh, is this a sign? I don't know. It's just a TV show or whatever. Even in that sort of doubtful state, if you will acknowledge it and sort of just say thank you in your in your head, you know, thank you for this. Whoever you feel that you're thanking, just say it in your mind or better yet out loud and more comes because when they find a way to connect with you, then it, it grows and grows and, you know, they'll, they'll use that more and more. So this is a very sort of sweet and um, comforting card to get at the beginning of this reading. So then we get this Knight of Swords, and I'm telling you, I've gotten this in a few readings lately, talking when I've, people have asked me about, you know, whatever circumstances they're talking about, about but then you know it's always this element of the the lockdown and the pandemic like how is it affecting this this other question that i'm asking or how do i move forward when do i get to move forward because of the situation we're in and we get this knight of swords and it it just feels like two things first of all it's fast you can see this knight of sword comes in and just you know bam he's he's you know He's slicing and dicing in this situation. And these swords cards always talk about the intellect. You know, they're talking about our minds and the 
and uh, these things that we bring forth in the world through our spirit that is connected to our physical mind, our soul that connect to our physical mind. And this sword is pointed upwards. It's talking about that, uh, just like in the lover's card, it's talking about that connection, those things, those sort of gifts that we're given through our minds, that, that um, support and inspiration. Because this feels, uh, and you know, I know it doesn't seem like it, but this, the, according to this card, it talks about the speed with which something happens or is happening. And I'm talking scientific, I'm talking scientists, I'm talking doctors that are working on this and they are going to find ways that um, just uh, help us enormously. I mean, my mind tends to go toward a cure, but that may be... Um, that may be just the way that I think of it. It, it may talk about like making people better, you know, in different ways. And there are so many minds working on this and they truly are inspired and brilliant. And in this lifetime, at this time to do this specific thing more in their lives individually, of course, but also specifically to tackle this thing because this is a reoccurring thing like this type of virus, um, which and I know this is, you know, COVID-19. So there have been other years and, and times when this uh, sort of virus, I don't know enough about medicine to know what sort of virus it is, um, but this type of thing and the way that it mutates to become new forms is going to, it's not going away. That's not going away. But in dealing with this one, and also these scientists acknowledge, acknowledging some of the ways in which other iterations have been dealt with, in dealing with this one particular though, it's going to have a wide um, range of effect now and in the future like a, an ability to to jump on it next time right and this is being done um with the help sometimes of people but uh, like governments and stuff but in many cases in spite of them um it does feel like is you know it, it may not even be a, a, a specific thing like we think of as a drug but, and I've talked about this in other videos um, and other readings, but it, it's like a treatment. It's like a way of facing it, like maybe, a, maybe understanding where it comes from or how it spreads or, you know, just being better able to facilitate it so that when they are able to sort of make these discoveries as they already are beginning to, they're able to implement like protocols to to quickly address things and it makes a world of difference but there are things that have to happen or that we are trying to make happen to bring about changes in our world that sort of are we're on the verge of breaking through and this isn't going to happen until that happens but but again it's this knight of sword cards it comes it comes quicker than most people even sort of dream of at this point and it has fast the, the uh, oh, there is the ability to implement it quickly and it has fast and far far reaching effects right so then you get this queen of wands figure and this is interesting because you know there have been so many women who have been so on top of this thing as far as governing their countries um, even their states or even being part of governance but this is, has more to do with leaders in particular this has to do for some reason with Angela Merkel I and I don't know why she's um, she has got such a grasp of this. Uh, there's back and forth in her political system between other people, you know, um, questioning and trying to do it beside. She's done much right in, in that regard. But it also has to do with her scien 
scientific knowledge so that she she gets this and she also gets that she has got to get her best people on this and i feel like there are big things that are going to come out of germany right but this also talks about this also talks about the ways in which this divine feminine energy which is a a type of energy that we iconically think of as female um, and in some in many cases it is because that's how it's expressed here on the earth but it's certainly not um, it's certainly not exclusive to the realm of women but how this is now it's almost like descending on the earth like a, a beautiful and bright fog it's like lowering and coming and penetrating everything under doorways through windows in every aspect of our life and it's softening that's what's happening is there's a softening to the earth there's been so much rancor and violence and hatred that's been going on forever but it has es escalated so much in in the past few years in that in the past several decades in that it's become so vocal and so personal right there's always been of course you know people that are mentally ill there's always been war and that sort of thing but now there's such individualized rancor and hatred that this is a necessary coming this is a blessing and again it's like the the this lover's card with being watched over us and helping this energy to descend and these women leaders especially these you know i mean these brilliant women leaders are like pulling this fog into our world it's quite um powerful and it's again a matter of people being in this lifetime having risen to the point they are because this was their goal in their own individual lives and this is something that we have all sort of helped happen um some parts of the world more than others but this that we have made happen with the sort of with the um willingness and um energy of these individual women we have all sort of made it rise to a point where it is useful and important and you're seeing it and you and you will see more of it and in the coming years in the next like century there's this whole just descending of this or, or replacement actually of this sort of very um heavy kind of what we think of as masculine energy with this very loving lighter brighter um what we would consider feminine energy of course you know in in our lifetimes and in i mean in the totality of the universe in the in the uh, eternalness of it all there is no there is no male and uh, male and female but there is this there is denser and lighter energy lower and higher vibrations and this is a higher vibrational softer um kinder more loving energy that we traditionally in our society think of as feminine so that's that's illustrated in this queen of wands it talks about this energy as wands cards do this sort of creative passion as wands cards do and it's broad and it's also individual as i say this this does speak and coming right next to the sword card that's talking about this uh, sort of uh, treatment for um covid-19 it does speak specifically of angela merkel but it does talk also about this very broad perspective of feminine energy so then um this last card here you get this these rather practical cards in some way you get this this two of pentacles now the two of pentacles is is often something that can be similar to the lovers card in that it it often even though it's a pentacles card we'll talk about like earthly relationships you can see this infinity sign how it's interlaced with these two pentacles and this this figure who's holding him who's full of red you know passion and warmth um this see in the background that always talks about our psychic nature and our connection to our inner selves and therefore the universe 
these boats setting sail on it that are traversing these waters. And then these pentacles themselves, which talks about earthly things. And here again, I mean, because we're talking about this pandemic, we get this card that, because often when I talk about balance, I'll get the temperance card, but we get this card talking about balance because we're talking about very physical things, the balance in the earth, the balance between people. You know, we're talking about social justice in, in all of its forms. We're talking about economic equity. We're talking about racial equity. We're talking about um, all, all kinds of balance that is so unbalanced right now, right? And it's not going to become... Um, completely equitable probably ever but there's so much that can become almost completely equitable and and find some sort of balance this is talking about um legal justice this is talking about um uh, this is even talking about governance in that there is a, an equality in uh, the ability to sort of elect our officials um, that everybody, you know, the franchise is ext extended to everyone. But it is in large part talking about regaining, finding, but regaining in, in sort of the um, very, very long term sense because uh, ever since we've had these large civilized, I might put that in air quotes, <laughs> societies, um, we have had these ups and downs of inequity and, uh, you know, very large. And that's that's where we are now. And so there has to be a rebalancing that takes place. And you can see this card talks about this balance and the eternal nature of it, because, of course, of course, we're all equal. Right, we're we're all equal. We're all part of the divine, and we're all equally loved and equally deserving of love. And this card talks about that kind of balance in all of its forms, and that is what we're trying to achieve here. And I said, with as I said with the Knight of Sword cards, there is some balancing that is still needing to take place, and it's, some of that's very much. I mean, all of it, but it's incumbent upon us to bring about. And part of that is releasing hate from our hearts. It's okay to to dislike and even dislike and not want and want to replace an inequitable system. But if the way that you're doing that is through hate of individuals, it's not, it's, it just fosters hate. Um, I have a Jacob's Journal entry that'll be coming, that I'll post in the next day or two. Um, I have to do a video thing, but I was just transcribing them today and it talks about this. And, um, it's just, it's very telling and interesting to me that this would come up in this reading. But that is what's happening. It's it's almost as if uh, planetarily, like when I look, like the image that I have in my mind is somehow the earth almost like shifting out of orbit. This is symbolic. Shifting out of orbit and having to get back into alignment so that it balances with the other planets. And so too... We have to do this as individuals, in families, in communities, in our states, in our countries, in our world. It, we have to find a better balance because it has gotten so bad. And this includes our respect for our fellow man, our understanding that everybody is equal, even if we do not like the words and ideas and policies that are coming out of people's mouths. We have to maintain our own love of self and our own dignity by affording that to everyone we come in contact with. And that does not mean you accept everything that they may want to do or put upon you. It means that you deal with them as um, beloved equals in the best way that you can. 
and try to see into this, try to see them as souls and not just the physical person that they have been become on in this lifetime. So then you get this Emperor card, and this is, um, it's an interesting card because, um, uh, you know, this, uh, this is a major arcana card, and this is the vestige, this represents the vestige of this uh, energy, of this um, heavy masculine, it feels warlike energy. Um, and this isn't just uh, Donald Trump that, you know, here in the United States, I tend to think of. It, there's a whole energy behind it of this sort of the way that we solve our issues is through heavy handed tactics, and even violence. You can see these like ram's heads on this emperor's throne that represent this Aries energy, which Aries is the god of war. There's this sort of fiery energy. And this card can be very good, but in this sense, it's it, what we're talking about is this heavy energy, these people who are really sort of, uh, as I said, vestiges of a past that is being changed, but that we are sort of being forced to deal with, and that they're still, um, I feel like they they will be in large part warded uh, in the very big picture, and yet there's like these small... Um, outcroppings, these small, like, little, uh, like, what I see is, um, the vision in my head is like a, um, a world map, almost, or a map, and these little explosions in uh, different parts, faraway parts, different parts of the, of the map, but there's no big, there's not like a, a, a a nuclear uh, mushroom cloud or something. No, it's these small, almost like skirmishes. And these are efforts of this, uh, these people who are sort of this old school energy still trying to assert it. And it's not necessarily battles, like literal warlike actions, although in some cases it is. It's also this energy of just trying to, instead of help people along, like, control the situation by pounding them down and it comes as the center of this line this row because it's so it's so um not pervasive but it's so apparent right and it it, it sort of hurts our hearts to see it happening because so many of us not all of us but so many of us people that are no longer caught up in that old school kind of um, heavy, you know, often violent energy, we see it and we want so much for it to just be gone, even while other people who are still caught up in it and still feel like this is the way to go, this is traditionally how things have gone, even as they embrace it, it it's painful. It's painful to our hearts to see it happening and it's still there, right? There are still, even the, with this Queen of Wands energy, which is actually actually more important we still have this uh, the vestiges of this and it comes across as the emperor because it is so strong there are still so many leaders in the world that harbor and hold and and govern with this old um heavy energy right this this uh, violent and um uh, heavy handed um energy like you you squash people down that's how you deal with it you, that's the way that you rise to the top is like by standing on other people and this that's why it's a major arcana card but yay the end of the reading um this this is like the the cornerstone here and it comes slightly under the Queen of Wands, and it comes after the Emperor to speak of replacement, because again, you get this divine feminine energy that is even stronger, even broader, even um, speaks more of the eternal in this High Priestess card. Because, and, and there, there is a high priest card. And so this, this high priestess card, you know, the emperor is very physical, earthly energy. And this high priestess card that speaks of this divine feminine, of this, uh, connection to the eternal is a more, uh, 
eternal card, a more of a soul card, where the the emperor card is more of this physical card. And you can see that in in leaders who aren't, you know, are not in touch with the non-physical world, with the eternalness of their beings, with their souls, right? With those who would guide us that we talked about in the lover's card, who are so anxious to guide us, they're, they're cut off from that. But this this is a promise, this high priestess card, that this is the greater energy. This is the energy that is coming now and will continue to manifest this um, kinder, loving, more in touch with um, the non-physical world, because that's coming where we are more um, attuned to that, you know, where we are more accepting that this is sort of a fact, this non-physical world, the, the help, the love, the guidance that's available, and the, and the, like, the sort of the greater, um, I want to say like greater glory of sort of the all that is, and this whole eternal expanding process of expansion and love and joy, and that's what this card is talking about that this this is an undeniable coming of this energy and this um, beautiful connection, right? And just as with the the pillars that represent sort of these opposites, it's it's not that the the earth becomes like um, everybody's perfect and everything is perfect. Rather, there's there's simply more of this energy. There's a replacement of sort of the old school emperor people in large part, but never completely because people have their own free will. And when you come to earth, when they come into physical existence, it is a, it, it, it can change people and people get caught up in it. And they, even the best of intentions sometimes are, um, hard to follow through with when caught up in the, the sort of the density of physical existence. So, you know, there will always be people who are trying to lean more toward this emperor card. But again, as with the first card here, this is about balance and the greater balance now, uh, the, the, the balance that we're trying to achieve shifts us all toward this uh, high priestess energy, this being in touch with um, the the divine, with the non-physical world, with the kindest, uh, most empathetic, uh, most inspiring and inspired parts of our being. That connection between our earth selves and our soul selves that makes up who we truly are. The totality of that. And that truly is this high priestess energy that is, as I said, now beginning to slowly descend on the earth in the most uh, challenging right now, but it is a beautiful uh, coming and changing of the, the very um, being and existence of this planet. It's a long time coming, and it's certainly necessary at this time. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that we've just we've ruined everything and we've screwed up and it's gone wrong, so we have to change this. It's an evolutionary process. I mean, evolution of our souls, not in the Darwinian sense. The evolution of our souls that is bringing us um, the possibility of this light and love and high priestess energy, this connection, this soul connection, and this eternal connection. So there you have it. Um, these even, you know, a few card readings like this, they always go on um, much longer for me than I think they will. <laughs> um, but that's because there's just so much information there. I mean, I, I couldn't have gone on two or three times as long, but oh, I'm sure that that was enough as it was just, you know, for your attention span, for everybody's attention span. But um, this is... A, a sort of a beautiful reading. I really didn't know what to expect when asking these broad questions, so I hope it's helpful to you. It's certainly um, kind of reassuring to me. Um, this is how I read just in general. Um, speaking of like audio readings, this is exactly what you would receive in an audio reading this type. 
of recording and then a photo of your card. So um, that is available if anybody would like to book readings with me at cardwayant.com. Um, until next time, until the next video, I have a few that we're, I'm planning on doing and um, Kim and I are also going to do one together this evening and I will take a couple days to get that posted but hopefully it'll be up fairly soon so um, until then I will just say take care of yourself please take care of others and I'm Chris and I'm your clairvoyant bye for now <laughs>